I'm going to explain how to measure unknown inductance using uh, different method. Okay, so I'm now explaining the method using uh, resonance frequency. So take a look over here. Uh, this is the equation for the for the finding the unknown inductance. The frequency is equal to one by two pi under root L C. So if we have a value of capacitor and the resonance frequency, we can find the unknown inductance. Uh, this is the simple circuit in which the capacitor and inductor are connected in parallel. The resistor is using to limit the current. So I'm here I am taking a 820 ohm resistor, the 1 microfarad capacitor and the circuit is fed by the function generator. I am going to uh, give sine wave have a magnitude of 5 volt and the variable frequency. The setup of this circuit is already I have did. Uh, this is the inductor, uh, this is the capacitor and the uh, resistor, okay? Uh, the function generator, here is the function generator, which have 5 volt, I have already set the value of uh, magnitude, 5 volt, the frequency is now 868 Hz. Uh, you can show the response of this cir circuit, I have already connected the CR prop to the output circuit. So what we have to do, we have to measure the response of this circuit from here to here. So uh, this is the this is uh, this is the CR uh, response of this circuit when the frequency is approximately one kilohertz. Okay. Now I am going to increase in the frequency. Now I have increased the frequency from one kilohertz to eight point five kilohertz, and you can see the changing in the res response. Okay. Now what what I have to do? Uh, what we need to do? Uh, just increasing the frequency and uh, watch at which frequency the maximum response is achieved. Okay, so I am going to increase in the frequency. You can see the changing in the response. Okay, so you can see the at this point the response of the waveform is highest. Now, if further I increase the frequency, then the uh, magnitude of the response is become lower. So at this point, so at the approximately 11 kilohertz frequency, you can see here the uh, response of the circuit is highest. So this is our resonant frequency. Now we have a resonant frequency which is 11 kilohertz. We just simply put it into this equation. Okay, so from this equation we can find the value of inductor. Here 209 micro Henry is the value of inductor from this practical. The actual value of the inductor is 200 micro Henry which we had wound based on turns, wire gauge and different other parameter okay and it is approximately near to the calculated or practically calculated value so this is the one of the simplest method to calculate the inductor